everyone, um, this may look like a sit down video but it's actually a vlog and it's been so long since I last vlogged and I just thought, you know what, today I'm doing quite a few things, well I was, it's now the evening, I'm getting ready to go out and I'm trying out quite a few new makeup products so I thought I would just do that on camera and then vlog tonight because we're going out for dinner for my cousin's 18th birthday. But first off I've got half of my makeup on, I'm going to start putting it on my face. I'm just going to talk you through what I think about it, so I'm going to start off with this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Quad. I said this a few weeks ago and I can't believe I haven't used it yet so I really want to dig in and start using it. To be honest I haven't really been wearing much makeup, I'm just going to prime my eyelids because I've just been filming Halloween tutorials and in between I've just been sat at home or in Starbucks editing so I haven't really worn any makeup in fact. All my makeup has actually been sat in my travel makeup bag from when I was in Manchester last week so that just goes to show how often I've been wearing it. This is my first time ever using any Charlotte Tilbury eye products, so I'm really, really excited. But I'm going to start off with the pinky tone, the mauve tone, top right hand corner, and just sort of sweep that into my crease. So yeah, I thought I'd vlog today. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this up in the middle of all my Halloween videos. I might do if I can just in case anyone's like really not into halloween or they're not enjoying the videos just to give you something like a little bit different to watch or i might post this at the end i haven't quite figured my schedule out yet but as you know halloween is like my favorite time of year this mm, this doesn't really show up on me so i'm going to go in with the deeper tone at the bottom it's very very pale on me so yeah it's a bit of a shame because i started getting ready earlier today and i put on my face put on my eyebrows did my hair and everything i thought i'll figure out what i'm wearing and then sort of do my makeup closer to when we go out this evening but for the past couple of days my back has been really really sore like I've had quite a stiff neck so I can't really turn around and like I can't really move and it was just so uncomfortable that I couldn't really like be bothered to do anything it was just annoying me everything that I tried to do like film or edit or sit at my laptop even just sit looking at my phone if I was in the same position for like I don't know more than a few seconds I'd be in a lot of pains so the very last minute I managed to book myself in for a back neck shoulder and head massage. I didn't really want the head massage which is why my hair's a little bit frizzy and I feel like she's uprooted some like dandruff or like dry scalpness just by massaging vigorously on my scalp so I didn't quite appreciate that but I do feel a lot better um but it's still there it's still kind of annoying me so it didn't quite fix it like I was hoping to. I also haven't got very long at all to get ready just because you guys know I'm always in a hurry and I'm always running late. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty. This is very, very shimmery. Oh, I really like that, actually. Like, it's bold, but it's not in-your-face bold, if that makes sense. I might just leave it quite neutral, actually, rather than sort of deepening it up with a dark brown or a black shadow, just because I've got some lashes that I want to try out, and they are very very um ott for dinner so yeah the place i went to for my massage is actually called nuad thai and i've seen quite a few of them i don't know if it's just like a north and west and northwest london thing but there's quite a few of them dotted around london i think and just decided to come along with me and we ended up having like a room for two so he had a guy massaging him while there was a lady massaging me and do you know what like she was good but had i not have heard what the man was saying to Jas, he just sounded a lot better. Like he kept asking him, like, are you all right? Is this pressure all right? And I was thinking, why is she not asking me? Because I'm in a lot of pain here. And you know, I was the one that really needed the massage. I mean, I do feel a little bit better, but I don't know, like I kind of feel like it's something to do with the way I sleep, maybe my bra, like I just don't know what it is. It's really, really annoying. I wanna try this new eyeliner that I was sent. This is by Kiss and it's a wing it eyeliner kit. It comes with a stencil to help you do your winged liner and this is a pot of gel so I'm really excited for this actually. Let me just open it up. Okay, that's cool. So it kind of has a stencil like this so you would just put it up against your eye um, and it's got all different sorts of shapes and sized wings. That's really cool. Okay, so you get your pot of gel and you get like a brush which I'm not even going to use obviously. Oh, I haven't got my favourite eyeliner brush to hand. This could be a problem. I'm going to use an angled brush. I don't normally, but I haven't got very many brushes to hand. And to be honest, I'm kind of running out of time as well. So let me just apply my eyeliner as I normally would. Oh, no. The temptation was there to wing it out myself. I'm going to go with posh because a lot of these seem like far too big or far too thick or way too long. So I don't know how this is going to go. And I really hope I don't butcher my makeup because you know what? I haven't got a lot of time to fix this. 
This is gonna be, this one's weird because it's gonna be like shorter than I would normally go. Oh God, I'm scared. That didn't do anything. Um, I'm just gonna do it with my hand. Okay, I'm gonna go in with these pinky goat lashes. I've wanted to try these for the longest time ever. And these are Nura. So there we go. So it's worth noting that these don't come with glue, but you can, like, I'm assuming, buy the glue adhesive separately. I have got this one. I think it's black. I haven't actually used a black eyelash glue before. So I'm not sure I love the packaging of this. It is very hard to control how much comes out, and too much always does. It's not just this one. It's all eyelash glues that come like this. I much prefer, like, the little, the little tiny ones you normally get with lashes that have a little stick. Ah! because I was squirt too much out this is so annoying okay so my lashes are on and oh my god these are actually insane like I really really like them but I feel like they're really OTT I'm just gonna quickly go in with this Eyelure Blend and Care just it's like a mascara but it like really helps to blend your natural lashes in with your falsies I'm now in a hurry because my cousins are gonna be here in like 10-15 minutes but I also really quickly want to go in and try out this Pillow Talk blush. I'm so excited for this because I literally always wear the same blusher. I never change it up. Oh, it's annoying. I don't have a clean blusher brush here. Ugh. Okay, sod it. I'm going to go in with this MAC 188 brush. Oh, look at how... Oh, God, it's very powdery. Oh, this doesn't really show off on my skin. I don't know if it's because of the brush I'm using. So I'm just going to go in with my usual... Um, brush but it has got my old blush on it so it's going to change the colour of it somewhat okay it is pigmented of course it is I mean it's Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> it was just the brush I was using but oh that's beautiful there we go um this is my makeup for now I need to add oh I really need to add something at the bottom of my eyes I'm going to go and do that off camera and then I will come back and actually just finish this vlog off because like I said it is meant to be a vlog um so I will be back happy birthday <laughs> I don't know what you guys can see because I've got you on my car mount, but we are on our way into London. It's her birthday, what it was, it still kind of is. Um, do you have any idea what your birthday surprise literally might be? None. Literally, no idea. You've got such a good surprise. <laughs> I know, I literally didn't tell anyone. I'm going to tell Jas, obviously, and, and my family, Especially like my parents. Yeah, <laughs> I did not tell her because oh, yeah, that's she has the biggest mouth ever, and apparently, she can't keep a secret. So. <laughs> She was like, please tell me, I promise I'll keep it a secret. And I was like, I, I heard you told your best friend everything about what was happening for her surprise party. She was like, yeah, I couldn't help myself. I was like, why? Why would I tell you? <laughs> so we're now on our way. We're probably about an hour away. Um, we're going to be early, so it's fine. And I'm so excited. I really hope she likes it. I'm sure she would, hopefully. It's got complete surprise. So yeah. Um, I think we should do some car karaoke. Yeah! Birthday karaoke. I you can pick the song. song. Oh my god. So we have like Mini Me, the DJ. Serena can pick this music and we'll do the karaoke, assuming we know it because we don't. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing? I just found it on my phone. Oh, I just found it. <laughs> oh, please. Okay, what I'm what does anyone knew those words? Yeah, I don't know. You do with your I do. I do worry about it. I'm all of a sudden, I'm moving to make it just came on. Oh, it just came on, did it? Homegrown alligators. Sorry, you weren't there. I know the song, I don't know the words. I know that song, right? It's not on the Let me know if it gets too cold and thinking it happens. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my shoulder really hurts, I was kind of like, bro. My fire, the one desire believe. When I say I want it that way, and now I can see that it's falling apart from the way that it is. <laughs>
Very good reason, but yeah. are you excited, Serena? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited yeah. too. I'm excited too. <laughs> I mean, they know where we're going, <laughs> but she knows that I know that she doesn't know that I know. <laughs> Righty! <laughs> we are here. We're going to Starbucks! <laughs> we are going to Starbucks! <laughs> Happy birthday, Serena! <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> Such a cool little room. So surprised. Yeah. It's so nice. So this is the restaurant that I was telling you guys about that I bought just to you for his birthday, and we're seated in like their retreat room, which is really cool. Cause wine cellar that they've converted into a private dining area and we just got lucky when we came for Jasper's birthday they just sat us in here so I specifically requested this and you do have to pay a little bit more for it like quite a lot more actually but we got lucky that nobody else had booked it out so let us sit here again tonight this is so nice I just want it to be special like royalty <laughs> a princess is <laughs> 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 and like drive around London or we can go back to ours because I put a bottle of Prosecco in the fridge and have like a glass of Prosecco before we drop from home and we picked going for a drive! We're at Embankment and I thought they got rid of all the parking spaces here but they actually haven't which is really cool and just look at this view like it kind of reminds me of like the view from New Jersey in Hoboken where you can see the whole New York skyline it's so cool oh man I love London don't you? Oh, Gold. Okay, go away. <laughs> no. Do you want a scarf? Are you sure? I've got a scarf in the car. 
Are you alright there? <laughs> 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 I can't even go go her, like my blanket scarf to her and it is massive on her. Just a so funny. We're just walking along the embankment. Best Somerset house. <laughs> Okay, it's just gone midnight and I thought I'd end my vlog here. Um, I hope you guys had a really good time at dinner. I think yeah, it was really good. Yeah, would you go back? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was really, really good. The menu changed. Um, it, the menu had changed slightly since Jess and I had been there. So it was quite nice to like try a few new bits. And Serena actually got like a surprise little birthday cake and it was peanut butter. She was like, you're going to love it. And I actually ended up eating most of it because it was so good. It was like a peanut butter cheesecake, wasn't it? But the base was a little bit different. I think it had Oreos in it or something. I'm not like a taste them um but the cheesy part of the cheesecake made me feel a little bit sick but the peanut butter was so good but anyway i'm gonna end this vlog here and um, the vlogs will probably be back like mid november i just thought i'd randomly vlog today because we were going out for dinner and i thought i'd give you guys a break from all the halloween content so there'll be a little bit more halloween content coming your way for the next couple of weeks and then normal service shall resume so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button because it would mean so much to me but thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time